Like and subscribe right now or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. The Amazon rainforest is the biggest rainforest on the planet, covering around 40% of the South American mainland. Likewise, it's also home to some really fascinating creatures and vegetation, absolutely overflowing with biodiversity. When people initially began wandering into the Amazon, they quickly realized what a wild and brilliant place it was. And amazingly, researchers are still finding new species today. Of course, while delightful, these exotic animals can be absolutely lethal, continually reminding us of how hazardous the Amazon actually is. 10 Deadliest River Monsters of the Amazon Number 10. Amazonian Giant Centipedes to us, anything with more than four legs is simply dreadful. This frightening crawler looks as though it's slithered right out of a gory horror movie. The Amazonian centipedes are probably one of the biggest insects on Earth, reaching up to a third of a meter or an entire foot long. They commonly live in or near shallow waters, where they can hunt down their preferred menu – mice, lizards, and toads. But this isn't even half of it. These amazingly forceful and venomous creepy crawlies have an extremely remarkable method of hunting. They stand nearby, and when their prey is close enough, they jump on it with their rear legs. Then, they'll use the sharp hooks on their heads to infuse toxins into the target's body. Oh, and don't assume this massive centipede isn't dangerous to people. One bite from it will paralyze you. Number 9. Green Anaconda if you're not capable of dashing quickly away through the water, then you would probably want to avoid going into the Amazon. This is all because green boa constrictors live there. Well, more like Goliath green boa constrictors. These snakes love the water and so naturally dwell in bogs and streams, with the Amazon a particular beloved place. When we say Goliath, we mean it. These snakes can grow up to 9 meters or 30 feet long and weigh an incredible 247 kilograms or 550 pounds. Ashore, though, they couldn't hurt a fly since they're too heavy to move about much at all. But it's in the water that you want to be wary. The green anaconda has unique openings on the highest point of their head, which permits them to totally submerge themselves in water. In this manner, they can glide invisibly toward prey. They've even been known to almost squash jaguars before consuming them directly. Number 8. Bullet Ants Insects are often alarming enough just to see, but getting stung by one is way more alarming. Simply ask any individual who's been stung by a honeybee, and they'll tell you just how awful it felt. And yet, that aggravation isn't anything in comparison with a toxin-filled sting from a bullet ant that damages multiple times in excess of a honeybee. These insects are 3 centimeters in length and can be tracked down around Brazil, Colombia, and Peru, typically in the lower sections of trees. They're known to live in swamp regions, but once in a while, they can be found in higher spots. If you dare to venture into the Amazon, you'll probably see them, but relax, or maybe don't. While they can't kill you, their neurotoxin can cause extreme agony, and such agony can last up to 24 hours. It's been said that getting stung by a bullet ant is basically the same thing as being shot, hence perhaps why they're called bullet ants. Just avoid them, okay? Number 7. Electric Eel One of the most interesting freshwater predators on this list is the electric eel. There's not a single animal not only in the Amazon but on Earth that uses electricity like this creature does. We've all heard about the electric eel, but you'll be shocked to know that adult electric eels consist of thousands of assembled electroplaques that can create shocks of up to 860 volts, but you'll be shocked to know that adult electric eels consist of thousands of assembled electroplaques that can create shocks of up to 860 volts or 1 ampere of current. And though it's hard to believe, these shocks can be fatal. Only a couple of them are needed to lead to respiratory or heart failure. Not to mention people have died by drowning in shallow water due to being shocked. But one good thing is that electric eels don't eat human flesh, as they prefer smaller fish for the most part. Their method of attack is far more lethal to smaller prey, too. When they use their high-voltage bursts, their targets twitch uncontrollably. After, the eel will put out a string of high-voltage pulses up to 400 per second to finish off their prey. Number 6. Payara the payara is a species of dog-toothed tetra found in the Amazon River. There's still a good bit of mystery surrounding payaras, as there's a gap in the research concerning them. 
However, most people will freak out the first time they see this fish, since it's rather unforgettable. Silver scales, spiked teeth, two gigantic fangs that stick upwards from the lower jaw. Equipped with fan-shaped caudal fins, it seems like payaras are made perfectly for speed and power. They've also earned the nicknames Water Wolf or Vampire Fish. Currently, their population status is unknown. They're around a half to one meter, or two to three feet long, and 4.5 to 16 kilograms, or 10 to 35 pounds heavy. One of the biggest payaras to be recorded was even at a whopping 40 pounds. Though they can eat larger fish, they mostly prefer medium to smaller sized ones, with piranhas being one of their most favorites. Number five, Freshwater Stingray. There's pretty much no safe places in the Amazon River, not even in the shallow waters, because the magnificent freshwater stingray lives there. At least these stingrays don't eat humans, but they're still a big threat to us. According to annual data, freshwater stingrays are the cause of a couple thousand injuries in Colombia every year. The issue is that stingrays don't roam around aggressively or do anything to make themselves known to others. It's even worse since they have excellent camouflage skills. Therefore, it's hard to spot them. Only when someone steps on them or they feel threatened do they defend themselves. And by that, we mean they lash out with their poisonous tail stingers. Even if the stinger misses their target, their upper surface can still injure us. Number 4. Arapaima the Arapaima is one of the greatest freshwater fish neighboring the Amazon River. This is a sleek-looking, rather immense fish. They're limited air breathers, so they can only remain submerged for 10 to 20 minutes. And with the assistance of their adjusted swim bladder, which opens into the fish's mouth and works as a lung, Arapaimas will, for the most part, lurk near the water's surface. There was even a mystery regarding a water beast being the cause of a person's disappearance. When the story was told to Jeremy Wade, the host of the program River Monsters, he suspected that the culprit was an Arapaima. As expected, Jeremy traveled to Guyana to the stream in question to track the beast down. Indeed, he discovered the culprit was an Arapaima. Upon successfully catching it and releasing it, Jeremy expressed that that was probably his most prominent catch in his long South American fishing experience. And yes, the mystery of what was making people disappear was solved. Number 3. Poison Dart Frogs In some cases, lethal things come in little bundles. Take the poison dart frog. They are one of the most toxic creatures alive and are so deadly that local hunters use them to make poison darts. An example are trackers from a clan in Colombia who consistently chased birds, monkeys, and different creatures, who utilize toxins from the frogs to create poison darts that they shoot at their targets. Not only are these frogs lethal, but they smell very bad too. Due to having poisonous glands all over their body surface, a pungent smell rises from them. Number 2. Red-bellied piranhas Red-bellied piranhas are found all through the low-height locales of the Amazon River Bowl. They occupy both still and moving areas of the tremendous new water Amazon River Bowl framework. These little killer fish are red on their undersides from jaw to cheeks to tummy. Their upper sides are full of dazzling silver scales. If you don't know what they are, you might say they're quite beautiful. But don't be deceived by their looks or small size. They grow only up to a little over a foot long or 30.5 centimeters and weigh only up to 4 pounds or 1.81 kilograms. The only reprieve animals get from these fish is during the dry season, when food is scant and water levels are low. But even though dry assaults tend to be limited to irritating nips to the hands and feet, keep your guard up and at every other time expect lethal assaults. Number 1. Black Caiman Recognized all through the Amazon River Bowl, the black caiman is the greatest of the caiman species and can possibly grow up to 4.5 meters or 15 feet from tail to nose. Young caiman eat essentially crawlies and shellfish, but as they grow and require more subsistence, their eating routine moves to include vertebrates, snails, and fish. Female caimans gather together in which they lay a typical of 39 eggs in a grasp. Such a large number of eggs are laid because not all will hatch successfully. Poaching for caiman skins in the 1940s to 1970s caused a certified population decline, so much that the species was at one point jeopardized. For now, though, there's an estimated 25,000 to 50,000 individual black caimans in existence. That is all for today's video. Thank you all for watching. While you're here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. 
see you there.